Bombay High Court lashes out at the Maharashtra state government, the BMC and the BEST for not coming up with a solution despite being given time by the court. Court to now hear the matter at 2.45 p.m. The court has directed the Attorney General to remain present at that time. Santia Gora joining us on the phone line. Santia, the Bombay High Court has taken a very serious note of the situation. In the last hearing, the court had ordered the representatives of the state government, the BMC and the BEST, to submit a report about what is the status of finding a solution. It seems absolutely no progress in the last 24 hours. What did the court observe today, Santia? Uh, say Bombay High Court rushed out state government, BAS and BNC once again and said that when the time was given to all parties to get into a conversation and uh, sort out the matter before appearing in front of the court, then also there was no outcome of the meeting and the strike is still on. Uh, court asked that what exactly was done in the given time, uh, what exactly was done when time was given uh, to the mm -hmm. concerned authorities. In fact, Bombay High Court also pulled up the union and said that just because uh, uh, just because uh, they are being heard, that doesn't mean that they'll continue the strike. There can be an alternate way to meet their demands, uh, to make the authorities mm -hmm. listen to their demands. Though, uh, on the other hand, Bombay High Court was also equally considerate of uh, the union people and uh, uh, Bombay High Court told the, the state government and the BEST and BMC uh, that how there should be some interim relief to the people who are on strike. In fact, there were two interveners in the matter who were intervening on behalf of the... To that also, Bombay High Court said that there should have been an, a proper uh, and, and a better substitute for the people of the city as well because hmm. this is the seventh day and uh, ultimately at the end of the day, people are the ones who are at the receiving end of it. And hmm. now Bombay High Court has given the time till 2.45 to the AG to hmm. remain present in the court because as of now in the first half of the day, he was uh, not uh, present in the court. Okay, okay so the Attorney General will have to be present in uh, as the hearing resumes. But Santia, tell us, what are the sticking points really? Because let's not forget, this is a very powerful union. 32,000 employees are on a strike. That's a very big number. They have that kind of bargaining power perhaps because after all, over 3,000 buses are operated by them. Their families have also now got involved in the protest, Santia. Absolutely, Afrida. Initially, if we talk about uh, the court proceeding on Friday when the hearing was took place at that time the union said that how they uh, they are still ready to set aside the other demands but there are three basic demands on which they want immediate action to be taken first is the merger of the BEST budget with the BMC budget because according to the union that will bring some relief to the BST, BST and some budget as well that's why uh, the financial problem will be uh, automatically solved the other one was the uh, a pay grade, uh, the upgrade of the pay scale of the junior people. That's hmm. something on which, in fact, uh, the union stick to today as well. Today, the union went to the extent of saying that right now we are ready to set aside all the other demands, hmm. but this one demand should be met immediately because more than 50% of the staff workers are actually the uh, uh, junior grade uh, people and uh, their salaries should be upgraded, their pay scale should be upgraded. So that's exactly the stand of the union as far as the okay. court is concerned in the court. After All that. right. The committee was supposed to submit a report to the Bombay High Court after hearing the grievances. Uh, we'll wait and see what happens in the next uh, hearing at 2.45 p.m. That is scheduled as Santya has just reported. Many thanks for giving us the latest. Well, let's just put things in perspective here. The BST bus strike in Mumbai has entered day seven with no agreement in sight between the union workers that are striking and the civic authorities. On Saturday, a meeting between the bus union and a three-member committee appointed by the Maharashtra government failed to break the deadlock. The Bombay High Court will continue uh, hearing a petition related to the strike today. Remember, in the last hearing, the court had asked the state government to intervene and added that the union workers and the BMC should now work together to thrash out a solution from this crisis. There are three major demands. First, uh, those employees who are employed in, in BST after 2007 should be fixed uh, at 7930 master grade with retrospective effect. Secondly, 
they should merge the BST budget with the A budget of the municipal corporation. And third, they should immediately start talks on the charter of demands which has been given to them on, uh, in the month of May 2016. Neha Kulkarni joining us live. Neha, you've been tracking this issue now primarily from the picture that we just got from the president of the union, Sashank Rao, is that they are not going to give up till they get a promise or a commitment on upgrading the wages and more importantly, the merger of the budgets. Now that perhaps is a bigger issue and a bigger decision. Where have the talks failed? What reason have they failed so far? It's day seven today. That's right, Afrida. It's day seven of the strike called by BEST employees. Uh, we must understand that there are 32,000 employees which are operating more than 3,000 buses on the roads of Mumbai, of helping 25 lakh commuters in the city commute from place A to place B. But the workers here who have been working for more than some some of them more than like 20 25 years say that enough is enough and they are not going to back down although uh, the administration has tried to uh, uh, call off the strike uh, through various attempts by in invoking mesma act against the workers or by telling them that it is illegal for them to continue the strike the workers claim that they are not going to uh, back off from the strike at least this time till each of these three demands have been given to them in writing by the administration till they get the required remuneration that they require from the government. The workers here who are standing with me right now at CSMT are aware of what uh, what has happened in the court. They are happy that the court has finally backlashed uh, the uh, government authorities and asked them to take the required action and listen and give them some interim relief. Uh, the workers here have told us that they will now uh, they are now asking the administration to listen to them at the earliest. Sir, hmm. court ne uh, BMC or government ko dono ko bataya hai ki abhi enough is enough or abhi abhi kuch to action aapko lena hi padega. Saat din hoga strike ko. Bahut बहुत सारे कम्युटर्स इफेक्ट हो रहे हैं क्या यूनियंस क्या चाहती है यूनियन ने हियरिंग में क्या देखा यूनियन की यही मांग है कि हमारे कामगारों के लिए खाली जो, मतलब जो ये रहता है हमारे जो हमने जो स्ट्राइक के लिए बोला है कि हमारा जो बजट है वो बजट के खाली अपना जो सी में है तो ए में बजट ये करना चाहिए बी एस मर्ज करना चाहिए इसके लिए हमने मांग की है पहली मांग इसकी वजह से हमको आज सात दिन से लगातार हमको ये बोल रहे हैं तो हम हम हमको पगार जब मिलता है पंद्रह पंद्रह तारीख तक पंद्रह से बीस तारीख तक उसमें हमारे जो जो अपना रेशन दुकानदार रहते हैं उनको बहुत सी परेशानी मतलब उनको जवाब क्या देंगे यही हमार हमको सजलता नहीं उनके बजट उनको उनको पैसा दिया तभी हमको राशन देगा उस उनको बहुत टाच मतलब बहुत तो हमको कुछ भी ये बोलता है तकलीफ कोर्ट में अभी कोर्ट भी यही पूछ रहा था सर की सात दिन हो गए स्ट्राइक को ना ही आप बैक डाउन कर रहे हैं ना ही गवर्नमेंट कुछ कर रही है तो क्या होगा हमने हम तैयार है हम पहले दिन से हमको बुलाओ आप चर्चे के लिए बुलाओ हम बोला रहे पर लेकिन उनका कुछ जवाब ही नहीं आ रहा है खाली बोला के अभी दो तीन दिन पहले चर्चे के लिए बोला है तो हमने जो मांग रखी उनके पास डिमांड उसमें कोई बोलते ही नहीं हो कुछ नहीं ये मांग मतलब कुछ नहीं कुछ नहीं बोलते और if the camera can just pan at uh, the depot uh, uh, around me, we are standing right now at the CST depot. You can see hordes and hordes of ST buses uh, being pulled in by the government to help commuters transport. The commuters have been saying since day one that it is not feasible for them to go in any other mode of transport because it's either costly or these buses don't know the routes or they themselves are not aware of where they can go. It's being a harrowing time for the commuters here. We are also right. joined by right. one of the other commuters who has been using best bus for more more time and he says that it it can't uh, uh, it can't go on for long it is going to affect them it's going to affect their daily routine so hmm. it is uh, we will uh, look at the hearing at 3 pm now and see what the hmm. court has to say on this yes the important thing is the government and the civic bodies have not made enough alternatives to ease out the issue for the commuters that has to be done immediately because like you said 25 lakh commuters depend on this bus network thanks for joining us neha